Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this exfoliating pumpkin face mask. So there's two key ingredients in this face mask and the first one is pumpkin powder. Pumpkin powder is a rich source of gently exfoliating enzymes, antioxidants, beta carotene, and many other vitamins and minerals beneficial to the skin. Pumpkin powder is dehydrated pumpkin that's been ground into a powder. The fine orange powder smells exactly like pumpkin. Pumpkin gently removes dead skin cells and leaves skin smooth and glowing. So this is where we're getting the light orange color in this facial mask and where you're getting a hint of pumpkin. I wouldn't say this smells very strongly of pumpkin, just very faintly. So the next key ingredient is this pumpkin scented extract. Pumpkin is packed with vitamins and minerals and it soothes and moisturizes the skin. It can also act as an accelerator helping the skin to absorb nutrients quickly. So combined together, these two pumpkin ingredients, it doesn't make a very strong fragrance in the product, but just a very slight fragrance that's not too overpowering, but still gives you that pumpkin fragrance. So for this recipe, I'm gonna be using a 250 milliliter glass beaker, a 100 milliliter glass beaker, and a 25 milliliter glass beaker. And then I'm going to be grabbing my digital scale that weighs to 0.01 grams and I'm starting with my 100 milliliter glass beaker and I'm going to be weighing out my water phase. I started with 12 grams of aloe vera liquid followed by 17.1 grams of distilled water, 3 grams of vegetable glycerin, 0.3 grams of allantoin, and then I just mix the allantoin a little bit to disperse it in the water and this won't fully dissolve until we heat it up. So next I'm going to be working on my oil phase. I'm using a 250 milliliter glass beaker for this. You want to use the bigger beaker for the oil phase. I started with 4.8 grams of Rudamulse SCG, 7.2 grams of Meadow Foam Seed Oil, and then 4.8 grams of Evening Primrose Oil. And that is it for the oil phase. So you want to grab both of your beakers and I always like to cover them up with aluminum foil just to prevent anything from falling in. And then I grab a pan, I fill it up with about an inch of water depending on how big your beakers are and then place your beakers in. And then you want to heat both of your phases up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit and hold them there for 20 minutes. So while those are heated, I'm picking my scale again in my 25 milliliter glass beaker and I'm weighing out my cool down ingredients. First, I started with three grams of distilled water, and I took out three grams of the distilled water from the water phase for the cool down phase to help dissolve some of my powdered ingredients. And then I added in 1.5 grams of willow bark extract to also help exfoliation. And then I added in 2.4 grams of Lewisidal SF Complete, which is our preservative. And here I'm adding in 1.2 grams of D-alpanthenol, and this is one of our powdered ingredients. And you want to mix this in until it fully dissolves in with your water ingredients. This is why I added in a little extra water in the cool down phase to help dissolve the DL panthenol and to help dissolve the pumpkin powder, which I already talked about this earlier, so I'm not going to go into detail about this. And I went ahead and added in 1.2 grams of the pumpkin powder. And then I mix it up until it fully dissolves. And that is it for the cool down phase for now. We still have two more ingredients, but they're oil-based ingredients. So we're gonna add those at the end after everything has emulsified. So here's the oil phase. And you wanna go ahead and pour the heated water phase into the oil phase, don't do it the other way around. And then mix it up with either an immersion blender or a mini mixer like this. This is better if you're making small amounts of product. And you just want to mix it up and keep coming back periodically until it cools down to a cooler temperature room temperature or really anything under 90 degrees is okay. So once it's all emulsified, thickened, and cooled down, go ahead and pour in your cool down ingredients and mix in until fully incorporated. And now it's time to weigh out our cool down ingredients that are oil soluble. I first added in the 1.2 grams of the scented pumpkin extract. This is an oil soluble extract, so that's why I chose to add it in at the end instead of adding it in with my cool down phase ingredients since it's not water soluble, it'll just float on the top. And then I added in 0.3 grams of vitamin E oil. And then I just mix everything in until everything is well incorporated. 
and that is it for the formulation now it's time to package it up I grabbed this two ounce jar here and I'll link down below to exactly where you can buy these jars and to some similar ones over on Amazon So here's what the finished face mask looks like. As you can see, it's just a very light hint of orange, almost just like a yellow. And it's a very thick cream, so nothing will spell out if you tip it over or anything. And also it has the scent of pumpkin. So it's not overpowering or anything. So you can still use it on your face and it won't cause any irritation. And then the last thing I did is I made a label that says exfoliating pumpkin facial mask. If you would like to know how to make an actual label for a product you'd be selling, I have a video I'll link down below that goes into all the details on everything that is required to have on the label if you are selling your cosmetics within the US. This does not follow the labeling guidelines at all. This is just a name of the product so I know what it is and obviously I'm not selling it or even giving it to anybody so I'm just going to be using it myself so I don't need a proper label on my product. I also have a video linked down below that shows you guys how I make my labels and to another video that shows you guys how to waterproof them. So here's the finished product. Absolutely love this facial mask. As of right now I've used it about twice and it makes my skin feel so freaking soft afterwards. So if you're wondering how I apply this mask, all I do is take a um, makeup brush. This is a brush I use just to apply on facial masks. Make sure your brush is clean and then I just gently brush a <laughs> thin layer of this facial mask all over my face and I leave it on for anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. There is a slight tingling at first, but this is just from the exfoliation. And afterwards, you just want to gently wash it away and then follow with a serum if you would like. And do not forget the moisturizer. Moisturizers are so important. They can keep your skin wrinkle-free and it can even help prevent acne in some cases. So since this is an exfoliating product, I only recommend to use it about once a week. If you have more oily, acne-prone skin, it's like not too sensitive then you can definitely use it twice a week. But for someone like me, I can only use it maybe once a week since I have very sensitive skin. So just keep that in mind when you're using exfoliating products. So like I mentioned, I adore this mask. It smells amazing, it looks amazing, it feels great on my skin, and it just makes my skin so freaking soft afterwards. So I highly recommend trying it out. If you do decide to try out this mask, let me know how it goes down in the comments below. And if you change up the recipe, let me know how you change it up. Now let's take a look at the formulation. I've made a total of 60 grams in this video, which fits perfectly in a two ounce jar. But if you would like to make more, here is the formulation, so you can just easily transfer this to however much you want to make. And if you don't understand formulations and how to transfer them into weighed out recipes, I'll link down below to a video that goes into detail on that, so you can understand exactly how to transfer percents to a weighed out recipe. Another thing I want to mention is I actually have a Patreon, and over there I have blogs that go right along with all the recipes I do here on my channel. That way you can just have the formulation written out and all the directions written out for you. And you can even download PDF files and print out the recipes. And I go into detail about what the benefits are of each ingredient I use and some substitutions for the ingredients as well. There is also a lot of extra content I post over on Patreon, including coupon codes when I find them. And I also share two exclusive videos every month. So if you're interested in checking out my Patreon, I'll have it linked down below. You can always unsubscribe if you aren't getting the type of content you're looking for. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to decide if you want to sign up or not. And one more thing, I made sure to link to all the ingredients I used in this video, along with all the equipment I used down in my description box below. I do this with every single video. I always get comments asking me where to buy things. I always have everything linked down in my description box. And if there's ever something you can't find, just let me know because I may forget to link it, but typically I always remember. So now that we reached the end of this video, let's get into the Patreon shoutouts. First is Essence of Nature over on Etsy, at Stardust Bath and Body over on Instagram, Nature's Farm Girl at naturesfarmgirl.com, Kennedy's Essentials at kennedysessentials.net, Let's Blend at letsblend.bigcartel.com, Creative with Love at creativewithlove.me, Trina's Jewelry Box over on Etsy, Wildflower Wildflower at wildflowerwildflower.com, Heartfelt Beauty here on YouTube if you want some more formulating videos, HSB Organics at hsborganics.com, I am Beautia at iambeautia.com, Sugared underscore Pineapple over on Instagram, KAJ Bath and Body over on Etsy, Blue Mint Soaps at bluemintsoaps.com, and Saytera here on YouTube. 
I'll have all my lovely patrons linked down in my description box. Also, if you guys didn't know, I do sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. I'll have it linked down below and down in the description box for you guys. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this exfoliating pumpkin facial mask. I know I've enjoyed using it, so let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. So hope to see you guys next time. Bye! I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself